have, I have just three beakers. Since I wasn't prepared for this, I have to use some different materials. But three beakers. I put some mass at the bottom. That's kind of important. And then on top, I'm going to put these little plastic film canisters. And then, I feel like I'm being photographed. And then I'm going to put on top of those some golf balls. How's this going to work, Charles? Is it if the tray is a wood one? Oh, you'll see. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I want to make sure that to start, these things are lined up right. That's why they can just pull them as hard as you can. And my goal is to get the golf balls in the uh, glass beakers by only touching the tray. So what am I going to do? You're going to pull the tray out. I'm going to pull the tray out like a flash lady. Okay. Are you ready? You better get yeah. this on camera. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before I do this, can anybody tell me why I put mass in the beakers? So the beakers don't move. So that they have more... Exactly. So they resist motion. So acceleration. Don't say motion. Resist yeah. acceleration. Why is it good that the canisters are plastic and not like lead? They don't have less inertia. Less inertia. We wanted to get them out of the way. All right. So here we go. Oh boy. It's very important that the striped one is in the center for symmetry's sake. Yeah. Otherwise, this will not work. Yeah, the, 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 the physics doesn't apply. Are you ready? It's a good picture moment right there. No, move to your right. Here we, here we go. <laughs> oh! oh!